This is probably the talkiest and the poppiest keyboard I've ever heard in my entire life. Right out of the box, of course. Listen to this. Yo, JTech here, and we have another budget banger from Sidu, and this keyboard was sent by Mechlands for review. You can check out their website, there are tons of good keyboard brands out there that you can buy. They do ship to most countries too, so go check them out. I love 60% mechanical keyboards. It's always been my favorite layout since I got into this hobby. Anyway, this is the QK61, not the QK that we all know of. It's the ultimate and legit plastic fantastic keyboard out there and my goodness, I still can't get over with the typing sound test yet. Of all the metal case keyboards that I recently reviewed, it's always good to switch back to the plastic keyboard because they are totally different from each other when it comes to sound and feel. So the stabilizers are plate mounted and it needs a little bit of tuning and relubing because I can still hear a very minimal rattle during the typing sound test. The keyboard is very neat and simple as you can see and those transparent keycaps looks really nice. This by the way is Sidu's budget series. Their high-end model is the V series like the V65, V68 and V75. There are two color options for this keyboard. This is the white and the other one is black with pink transparent keycaps. Quick specs and features, it's a tri-mode connection, meaning you can connect using wired and wireless mode. The battery capacity is 3000 milliamps, which is very good for this size. It's a gasket mount and you will feel the bounce and flex while using it. The keycaps is a double shot cherry profile PBT material with extra transparent polycarb keycaps. The LED backlight is south facing. Of course, it has a better light projection and this keyboard is fully customizable using VIA. Yes, you heard that right. All for the price of just less than $60 or under 3,000 pesos. Inside the box, you get USB Type-C cable, a keycap and switch puller, instruction manual, the 2.4 dongle, and the QK61 keyboard. I won't be tearing this down since I am already satisfied with the overall sound and typing experience. I heard this keyboard is hard to open and I do not want to damage anything inside. But just in case you want to know how to tear this down, watch B-Boy Haranero's video link right here and from there you can also see the actual acoustic dampenings this keyboard has. And I guess it right. There's a silicone dampening at the bottom case because I can feel some haptic feedback while typing and just so you know, I love keyboards with silicone dampener. So what makes this keyboard so poppy? Well, there are 5 layers of sound improving materials including sandwich foam, PET sound improving film, IXP switch pad, bottom foam and a silicone pad. It's a gasket mount keyboard and the PC plate provides deep sounding effect. It feels like popcorns popping while typing. The switch is really good too. It's a unique linear custom switch made by Sidu called Pearl White Linear Switch. It's smooth, loud, but satisfying. Though to me, it's a bit heavy, but still, it's a very solid custom switch. If you want to make it a bit quiet, just loop them manually. Some keyboard shortcuts that you need to know. First, if you want to put on the RGB, just press Function plus Backspace. Then you can change the mood light or the ambient light by pressing function plus Z or X. If you need an arrow keys, just press function plus question mark, right alt, menu, and right control. You can find all the shortcuts and its function in the instruction manual. Overall, this keyboard right now is the first on my 60% compact list. I love everything about it. The RGB and effects are really nice and glows pretty well. I might change the stock keycaps into a transparent soon because the RGB is that good. This keyboard by the way can connect to your smartphone, tablet, or laptop via Bluetooth so you can go wireless. Great for working outside your house or in a coffee shop or in a cafe perhaps. To check the battery status, just press function plus R shift and when the battery is charging, you will see a red light on the left shift. When it's fully charged, then it will disappear. Before I forget, in order to fully customize this keyboard using VIA, you can download the JSON file on Sidus website. Finally, for the price, 
this is surely one of the best compact banger keyboard of all time it does not feel cheap it's sturdy and the frame is thick it looks really simple and minimalistic just the way i like it so that's just about it if you're interested to buy this keyboard links are in the description or pinned comment section don't forget to check mechlands.com you can buy this keyboard there this is jtech once again thanks for watching have a great day or night and i am out see you guys soon